does Jada Pinkett Smith have borderline personality disorder? Jada Smith hasn't always been the most mentally stable person, and after Will Smith's Oscar episode, people are kind of blaming Jada. But Jada Smith's mental health has also been a huge question mark for quite a while now. People claim that her aggressive behavior and controlling nature is all because of her borderline personality. So is it actually true? Let's find it all out. Jada Pinkett Smith Jada herself has said in several instances that she has gone through mental breakdowns in the past and her mental health is a total train wreck. But her personality disorder is a lot more complicated than that. Her personality disorder has often made her relationships difficult, so much so that she lost control over her emotions. She said in an interview, quote, It's like when you just don't have control over emotions, your thoughts, you feel completely and utterly out of control. I don't even think I understood what I was going through at that particular time. End quote. So Jada herself accepted that there are times when she doesn't really have control over her emotions, and she can't do anything about it either. It obviously falls under the category of borderline personality, and it affects a person's life quite a lot. Smith's family hasn't always been in their best mental health because Jada's husband, Will Smith, also had several episodes of depression and panic. So much so that the young daughter of Will and Jada, Willow Smith, has revealed to the public that she's going through depression too. So, when so many people around you have such bad mental health, then having a personality disorder is pretty much inevitable. And yes, Jada Smith actually has that disorder that we know of because of her sudden outbursts of anger and aggression. A lot of people also call Jada to be narcissistic and manipulative. And these things might be true, but she herself struggles with mental health conditions is also very true. In the past, Jada publicly announced her relationship with August, who was her son's friend. It was heartbreaking for Will, and we also saw his panic on live television. But why would one sane and mentally stable person break one such news to the public? There has also been rumors that Jada has had a relationship with Tupac in the past while being married to Will Smith. But according to the couple, they've been in an open relationship and people aren't on board with the idea of an open marriage after Will's reaction to Jada's affair. Jada has actually been pretty controlling and she's the reason why Will had to agree to have an open marriage because she didn't want a conventional marriage. Will himself said in an interview, quote, Jada never believed in a conventional marriage. She had family members that had unconventional relationships, so she grew up in a way that was very different from how I grew up, end quote. Also, Jada isn't very good with her anger, and whenever she's asked to put boundaries to follow certain rules, she gets really angry. So Jada isn't a big fan of rules in any relationship, not even in marriage. Jada accepted it in an interview. Quote, With me, I get angry if you make me set a boundary. I get angry at you. Isn't that crazy? End quote. So we can actually understand now why Will Smith agreed to everything she said. Obviously because of her anger episodes. In addition to all this, Jada has also opened up about her battle with depression and how she didn't want to wake up in the morning every single day. She said in an episode of Red Table Talk that it was so difficult for her to wake up in the morning, but then the day went by really easy. But then again, she had to go through the same feelings in the morning all over again. She called waking up in the morning, quote, the worst part of the day, end quote. Having a personality disorder of Jada's level can often result in depression because you keep wondering about how bad you are at controlling yourself and your emotions. Jada was going through the same thing during that time. However, she claims that she is in a really good place now. But her manipulative nature and controlling attitude with outbursts of anger tell us otherwise. It was a particularly difficult time for her when Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain left this world. It was because the couple was particularly close to the Smith family, and it left Jada and Will very disturbed and depressed. But after their demise, Jada went through a whole phase of suicidal thoughts, and she accepted herself that she didn't want to live and just wanted the pain to end. Since she's had these suicidal thoughts, she's been taking care of her mental health quite a lot. 
She wrote on her Instagram about her recovery, quote, in the years I spent towards my healing, many moons ago, I realized the mind and heart can be extremely delicate without the foundation of a formidable spirit, end quote. People have also pointed out the way that Jada keeps Will Smith in her control, and it actually shows her fear of abandonment, which is likely the first sign of borderline personality disorder. Also, when Jada entered Will's life, Will was already happily married, but he still ended up having an elaborate affair with her and getting married to her after a divorce from his first wife. So, Jada might have this thought in her mind that he could do the same with her, and yes, she is actually afraid of being alone, which is why she manipulates and controls every aspect of Will's life. Jada has also been known for her self-destructive decisions like going public about multiple affairs or her expressive anger outbursts. So much so that she even telecasts her whole marriage story on her show. So these decisions weren't particularly healthy and they pretty much destroyed her image and Will Smith's reputation too. These self-destructive and impulsive decisions also point toward Jada having a borderline personality disorder because people with BPD lose a sense of what is right or wrong for them. And during the process, they make some rushed decisions that make them regret in the future. Another sign of BPD is explosive anger. And as we already know, Jada has had many episodes of anger in public and in live shows too. So no one is new to her anger problems but that might be all because of her BPD. Her rage has been seen so severe in the past that it even led to suicidal thoughts, which actually is an extreme case of borderline personality disorder. The anger has always been repressed in Jada's personality. She even said in an interview that she wasn't happy as a child, and even during her teen years, she had an anger issue inside her. She had a childhood full of anxiety and trauma, so we're not shocked at her mental health condition right now because having a difficult childhood can actually wreck one's mental health completely. Jada has also publicly accepted that she has had anger issues with literally all men. This anger has always been inside her because of not having a father figure to support and nurture her. She obviously had to change her thoughts about men when she started dating Will. But before that, Jada was pretty much fixed in her ways. All this anger could be because of her borderline personality disorder that she might have been having since her teenage years, but it still goes undiagnosed. People having BPD also tend to have some pretty extreme mood swings, and Jada has been going through similar things. It has made things a lot more difficult between her and Will Smith because she often gets extreme mood swings. But Jada has been working on herself quite a lot, and her mental health is better than ever. However, that doesn't mean that her borderline personality disorder is gone, because we can still see it in instances. Just like at the Oscars, when she had an extreme mood swing on a joke, and she looked at Will with anger. Will, who's accustomed to pleasing her, rushed to the stage and slapped a comedian who made a joke about her. So, her mental health isn't perfect yet, but she's still working on it, and she's made multiple changes in her diet too. For instance, she has stopped eating sugar altogether, and according to her, it has made a huge difference in her mental health. She said that after eating pancakes full of sugar in the morning, the rest of her day was always very anxious and depressing. So she decided to cut her sugar off completely, and she has never been better. Jada has had multiple mental breakdowns in the past, and they actually prove that Jada has a borderline personality disorder. Not just this, Jada had to seek professional help to make her mental health a little better. She explains her journey through mental health quite often to remove the stigma of not talking about it. She said in an interview, quote, I don't think at that particular time I understood exactly what I was going through. Now I know it's what people would consider a nervous breakdown, end quote. Her struggle with mental health has been pretty brutal, and she explains it by saying, quote, I was bursting into tears and didn't know why." End quote. That's yet another sign of borderline personality disorder that you constantly cry or whine about stuff, and you don't even know the reason. People having BPD also fall into certain addictions to cope up, and the same happened to Jada. Most people might not know it, but Jada was on the verge of addiction because she went for help and took medication. 
but it affected her negatively. It made things worse, so she ended up getting into alcohol, and the next thing she knew, she was drunk all the time. It was her first step toward addiction, and things could have gone worse if she didn't have people around her that took care of her. People with BPD actually don't seek help after getting addicted, so this addiction stays with them for a very long while because they assume that it's keeping them sane. Jada thought the same, but after a while she actually ended up in recovery, but her way was slightly different. She said in an interview about her recovery, quote, I had to find my own path, and that's probably why it took me so long. Now, thankfully, I don't get depressed. I had to uproot some false beliefs. I had to just let go. I had to come to terms with what life is." End quote. Jada is obviously in a better place now. And that is great, but her mood swings and anger issues are still pretty bad. She still doesn't have an ideal relationship with her husband and kids, and her teenage son is pretty much spoiled, so things are still a long way from getting better but she at least is trying to improve her mental health. And that's actually all that matters. She is keeping track of everything she eats, sees, and listens to. So she isn't putting herself in any stressful situation. As far as her borderline personality disorder is concerned, it will also get better with time. But for now, she is still on her way to recovery. And yes, most people might not even believe that Jada has some sort of mental disorder but she has accepted it multiple times and spoke up about her battle with mental health issues. So, do you think all these signs actually point towards Jada Smith having a borderline personality disorder? Tell us in the comment section. Also, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, be nice to each other, play good in the sandbox, and bye for now, my friend.